Hello, my fellow friends. My name is Tanya, and today we're back again on expensive masculine niche. You're on Frag Addiction channel, and I'm talking about Viking Cologne by Creed today. It was launched in 2021. This is the box. It looks like mandarin oranges. I mean, this amazing color. Theoretically, yeah, Olivia Creed is listed as nose for this fragrance, along with his son, Ervin Creed. Uh, this is considered an aromatic fougere fragrance inspired by the first light of spring in the unspoiled Norwegian, Norwegian fjords. And despite the name, it is the auto perfume like all creeds. The batch. Because you're going to ask, I know that. It is A9621P01. So now you know it. <laughs> Top notes are listed as bergamot, lemon, mandarin, pink pepper, heart notes, geranium, lavender, rosemary, nutmeg, sage. Base is sandalwood, patchouli, frankincense, cedarwood, vetiver. And uh, I feel like there is marine note coming through, especially after the opening. It's uh, ozonic. It smells like a clean shower gel for me or an aftershave, a modern Viking of a kind. Imagine, um, a modern Viking is traveling in, the in his own drakkar. <laughs> it's the um, boat. And this fresh, spice, spiky, peppery wind is blowing in his face and hair. This guy is absolute sunshine and very well groomed. This is masculinity mixed together with that sunshine nature. The start here is juicy orange and citrus. It pulls absolutely unisex for me in, on start in the first hour. That sunshine note uh, that is lemon and orange in the first hour of uh, Viking Cologne reminds me of Aqua di Parma brand and how they make their own citruses. It doesn't have to be these two exactly. It's just the way they make them. They are very, very natural. They smell like real juice. In fact, here it's done even better for me. It's done in the Creed way. Creed has their own um, line of that style of fragrances. There are also Eau de Parfums, but for me, they're kind of colognes. This one is Citrus Bigorade and Zesty Mandarin. They are just divine. Amazing. In fact, yeah, Zesty Mandarin is my, my love. I, <laughs> this is amazing, even for layering. But it, it is so, so expensive. <sighs> Crazy. Mm. I'm gonna just smell this. This. Yeah, this is different but it has very similar vibe of the citruses, like a lifting up mood. After about 30 minutes of those oranges and lemons and even some mandarin for me, in about 20 to 30 minutes, it transforms 
a little closer to the skin and goes uh, into that aftershave direction. It comes to a moderate projection. And it feels very masculine. So after about 30 minutes, you understand this is a masculine fragrance. And um, it shows that masculine character. I would say Viking Cologne is like a hot classmate who is perfect in every way. And everything he achieved seems a blessing from the gods and no studying was required. He just is outgoing and fun, maybe has comedy stand-up skills, and he also has time to color his hair orange and goes for manicure with his mom. And some people even think he's gay, but he and his best buddies deny it uh, all the time, all of those filthy gossips. They even met his girlfriend from another neighborhood multiple times. This guy changes his behavior drastically when he's with a lady, becoming a low-key gentleman. <sighs> Very interesting. I just made it up, but I think it's just fun for entertainment. Viking cologne, on the contrary with classic Viking that I have over here, it has really pretty red outfit. So the classic Viking can be worn, I would say anytime, anywhere for uh, men over 30. But the Viking Cologne is for any male audience from 8 to 98 to 108. The scent is fresh and happy. In fact, it has something in common with Clinique's Happy fragrance, which I don't know. It, it celebrates anniversary this year, 25 years. It's been on the market for 25 years. I even had it and I couldn't find it for you today. I'm really sorry. It was an old bottle that was empty, but I love it with all my heart. I even wore it a lot for myself. That fragrance, Clinique Happy, uh, has the similar watery notes with juicy oranges, just like Viking Cologne, but they're incomparable in scent and in quality. Viking Cologne is more natural and in the heart and base, there's vetiver um, pulling through. It makes it more serious and the Spices also warm up the composition just a little to keep that delicate balance between fresh herbs and warm spices and sandalwood. There's that green patchouli and a dash of lavender. It is very delicate and chic. I enjoyed wearing this. Yes, it is definitely masculine. But it, as far as it's not that beast mode, I wore it for fun and definitely can recommend it to women who love woody and aquatic fragrances. For me, it's a no brainer, a blind buy for any man, any man living in any climate. But for women, hmm, you need to try it out first, especially on your skin. If you're a girl who likes to wear Clinique Happy for Man, like I did in summer, for example, mm, it's like, you'll probably like it even on yourself. You'll love this one too. 
On me, this pulls more of a light vetiver and salty sandalwood in the base with that mm, dash of frankincense. It has um, very, it has a little of that camphorous feel from the frankincense. I can smell it even on the blotter, but on skin you can definitely tell. It's um, on my man, by the way, it's more ar aromatic and um, it stays a longer. Those aromatic notes stay longer on him, including the sage, lavender, rosemary, and it's a compliment puller. Amazing. And it has that vetiver that is not as smoky as could be, but still just right. On my man, it actually smells more fresh. Uh, it pulls more patchouli and it smells more classy somehow. I don't know. On me, it's not as fun. <laughs> but still, Viking Cologne is an absolute magic in the opening and makes everyone smile for at least 20 to 30 minutes. It's almost a room filler at that point. Uh, if you spray at least four to five times. But then it goes to moderate performance and comes down into skin scent in about three to four hours. I know for this money, you need a little more, a little more projection, a little more longevity. So spray it on your clothes, maybe on the hair behind. Concerning the fact that it stays, um, it leans into that skin scent quite quick, it's quite hard to wash it off the skin. So you still smell it really, really up close for like eight, even 10 hours sometimes. So if you're not sweating it out, uh, if it's not too hot outside, um, it stays there till the next day but as a very thin skin scent. In fact, this is an ideal skin scent for me personally. <laughs> it's funny because I still get to enjoy the marvelous Creed opening uh, and a little sillage in the morning and then it doesn't bother me or anybody else. And when I want to smell something good, I smell my arms. <sighs> this one, as I say, you have to spray it on clothes if you want to be smelled. Musical associations. Viking Cologne follows, as always, the Creed DNA with a magical opening for me here, it is string orchestra with, it is playing an intro to the positive lyrical piano song in B flat major performed by Robbie Williams or maybe someone who has a similar vocal overtones. In fact, I even had to look up if he Robbie Williams actually plays piano and uh, it turned out that his skills are questionable on this instrument. Uh, there's another band member performing all the piano parts for his band, but in the style of music, the voice um, of uh, Robbie Williams fits straight into Viking Cologne for me. It somehow has a spicy touch, nutmeg, pepper, but it's still so smooth and fougere. And piano represented here by a light and rounded woody notes, blended to perfection, as usual for Crete. All of the composition is an oldie, but goody. It's like um, an old style, but still in a new way. It's an ode to sunshine and cool, windy air that makes people smile happily. This veil of joy can be worn any day, any time. 
Uh, and even just to boost your mood after a long working day, very easy to wear, any temperature, amazing in the heat. It stays calm and cool out in the summer daylight. And I almost think there's some sort of white musk in it. It actually, I think it says there's musk, yeah. It probably um, is just aromatic notes combined very special way. But uh, I think it's it still has some musky undertone. For me, this is a very easy entrance to niche world for an average wearer if you're not scared to spend some cash. <laughs> um, can be amazing counterpart to a man who owns original Viking as this could be just a summer staple. By the way, in freezing cold, Viking cologne <laughs> is not a major heavy hitter, but can easily be used inside in the heated environment or the office. It still has some spicy accords to keep that warmness in cold weather. It has a little trail on a windy day and just enough to make your girl want to walk close to you or behind, beside you, uh, maybe holding her hands. <laughs> You can easily give Viking cologne to a close family member, even if he is not into perfumery, as a gift for Father's Day or any birthday to your, your dad or your, I don't know, brother. Guys and girls, if you're there, please press a like button and subscribe if you're not. Thank you so much and write some comments. Write some comments about my stories. Do you like them? And maybe share this channel with your friends. And I'll see you soon, goodbye.